Suppose you say you want a particular house and instead of that house you end up losing up the house that you already have. You want to attract more wealth, you didn't get it, no problem, you failed to attract. But what if you end up losing your existing wealth? You want good luck, that's not happening, nothing to worry about. But what if you end up attracting bad luck? This is something to worry about because if you fail to attract something that you want, if done it in the right way, that can happen. There is a way that can happen. So there is a hope. But the worrisome pattern goes when your energy shifts completely go in the wrong direction and you trigger the wrong energies, the wrong chords of the universe. We have to know this thing for us to actually dwell on and analyze this fact that energies are in every form. What if you end up attracting the wrong things? That is the thing to worry. When you are not able to attract wealth and abundance, that is not something to worry for. Hearing this thing that try and think positive and try to attract more and more wealth and abundance from the universe in the process when they fail to attract what happens is they become very worried and they become very upset that they are not able to uh, perform it properly and that action the motive behind the action which they do fails completely why i say motive because motive is the main thing that plays the role now what should you do because this is i keep telling this is not something that you need to be worried about because if you fail in your say one attempt second attempt or say multiple attempts in attracting something which you want is not something to worry about the energies are not just the positive energies and whenever a person goes and applies any technique of law of attraction the person if does it without any proper guidance or past experience then what happens is there is nobody to monitor that the energy that you are attracting is the negative one or the positive one universe has not promised that it is it comprises only of the positive energy the wealth and the good luck law of, of attraction doesn't see the good and the bad it is just watching the luck whether you are attracting the good luck or the bad luck that depends on your practice on the action that you are performing or the technique that you are using and how well are you able to use the technique many a times a technique doesn't go wrong but the way you do it the way you implement a technique and action in your life that may go wrong universe there is there is this thing about universe that it it has everything the good and the evil there is a very 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 big picture that is actually into action which we are not able to see because humans are too busy in their day-to-day -day lives and day-to-day -day fights and quarrels and the good and the bad but the actually there is a very big thing that's going somewhere up where of which we are not aware coming to think of it it is huge and it's going on a macro level i repeat universe has not promised that it has only the positive energy the good luck the abundance for you in store it has the evil the bad the satanic energy the evil energy the bad luck the confusion the sadness and whatever you call it in the name of sorrow in the name of pain and everything which can put a human into deep trouble because it is created that way it is designed that way it has that energy now maybe it is not suiting you but for universe it's not bad luck maybe for you it's bad luck for universe it's not because it is that matter it is that energy they always say that do something with a lot of conviction don't let any negative thoughts come in your mind and do it with the right conviction think about it force your mind force your what happens is in the process your mind is so subtle and so playful in nature that the moment you try to force it it will hit back because whenever you hear this that you know think positive 
try to do it this way and push your mind towards the good and the positive and don't think about anything that's negative your past memories or your past experiences that has uh, done anything that is not uplifting your mood or that has done anything wrong to you we try to avoid our past memories the wrong emotions anything that has uh, done any wrong to us in the past or any failures of ours any bad experiences we try to uh, we try to shut those thoughts down and think positive because of course they keep hearing this that in order to attract the positive attraction law is something that we actually connect with whatever we want but the universe has not promised that law of attraction works for only to attract the good the wealth the abundance the good relationships success wealth no these are the thing of the material world that we want in our lives but it is much 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 beyond that for universe the good luck and the bad luck holds the same good health and bad health happiness and pain holds the same because these are the forms of energy that the universe has there is a big big thing going up there the fight between the good and the evil the creator and the energies the creator has designed for us in a particular way so of course if you want to attract something you are going to attract it but it is not necessarily that you attract that particular energy which you want and something else cannot come and affect your life suppose you want a particular vehicle for yourself or a particular dream job what if you ended up attracting some energy that actually took your existing job away from you forget about the dream job of course that is possible because what people do is they try to think and manifest something and in the process they end up forcing their minds to think positive and not think negative understand the nature of human mind it is so playful in nature it is so playful in nature and subtle in its movements that the moment you try to push or convince it it gets to know that something is being done to me and it does the opposite it hits you back it's like suppose you you tell a child they go to your left immediately it will go to the right maybe the child otherwise would have gone towards its right if you wouldn't have tried to convince or force him or if you just you know explain it try to explain it more and more if you normally if you are able to tactfully convince your uh, child that you know go towards the right he might go but the moment you try to over explain and actually convince him he is able to sense it and he will do exactly the opposite and that is the nature of human mind that is the nature of us what what why it is happening that way is because even when we were child we were raw now we are adults we have all the shades of the society now within us the society has actually made us corrupt but the mind the subtle subconscious mind the the mind which is actually which we feel is our mind is corrupt but the subconscious mind the deep down the layers deep within the subconscious the subtle energies which is hidden within us that is raw in nature that is the child that is that particular child whom if you try to force he will do the exact opposite and that is what mind does if you when you try to discipline the mind there is a difference there is a thin line between trying to discipline your mind and trying to forcefully discipline your mind in the process you do the opposite and in the process of attracting the right kind of energies your mind ends up attracting the wrong kind of energies many a times if you just sit down close your eyes and tell your mind that see i will think of a particular thing and i will not think about a particular thing say for example i will think of the fruit and i will not think of the knife that cuts the fruit close your eyes try it for yourself once or any keep any two objects and tell your mind i will think about this object and not think about that particular object the thing what you have told your mind that you will think will not come in your mind the opposite of it will come in your mind just try this for once and see for yourselves whatever you tell that you don't want to think or imagine that particular image will come in your mind first 
and what is the reason behind it it is the raw natural energy of the mind there is nothing wrong in it it's not the fault of the mind the technique is not wrong your mind is not wrong and even the wrong energy that you're attracting from the universe the universe or the energy is also not at fault who is at fault is you the technique that you're doing is okay but the process in which you are doing that the way you are implementing it that is going wrong because you are missing out on those points which can actually disturb your whole practice and technique which if done in the right way can actually trigger the right kind of energies and you can actually end up attracting wealth and abundance from the universe so let's do it the right way and even if you don't do it the right way say for example you fail to attract something i have told there is nothing to worry it's okay but worry something is when you end up attracting a wrong thing in your life say for example you attract a wrong life partner your whole life can get disturbed if you end up attracting a wrong job for yourself in the process of actually running after your dream job if a wrong job you have attracted in your life it can take away many many years of your life and you will regret it big time later but those years are not going to come back and then you realize okay this is not what i wanted this is not exactly what i wanted you have to first realize what exactly you are looking for what exactly you want because what is it what you ask from the universe the universe is very very raw in your nature just like the energy of your mind when it's a child and just like the energy of the universe as if it has just come into creation it is that raw and pure you ask it you will get it what exactly is that you are looking for that needs to be kept in mind whenever you ask for something what is exactly your goal whether your goal is that dream job or whether your goal is a job that gives you complete job satisfaction it gives you a lot of financial security and good healthy life is that what you're looking for make sure you don't attract those things which are not good for you and which you actually don't want ask yourself sit in a meditative state give hours to yourself doing spiritual practices and meditations and actually go deep down within you to pick up those things that you actually want to attract give selection a time just don't become emotional and over enthusiastic and think that this is a particular thing that i want so now i've got a technique to manifest it i will quickly implement it give more time to the selection process of what exactly you want to want you want to attract in your life and trigger those kind of energies from the universe this holds true in the case of many many cases that i have encountered so far instead of attracting the right kind of things wrong manifestations are the consequence and the result of a flawed mind why is it so because you're focusing on the manifestation and not on the mind that is trying to manifest something why manifestation goes wrong i will cite this example without revealing the identity there was this wellness client of mine who actually kept complaining that he was sick and he tried a technique of a law of attraction and what happened is who was narrating to me his past experience what happened to him in the process of actually trying to implement law of attraction in his life the experience what happened with him when he was actually trying to implement the technique of a law of attraction some technique i would not like to talk about the technique because there was nothing wrong with the technique i think he was doing under someone's guidance but then things didn't work out for him i'll tell you what happened exactly without revealing the identity he was very very sick and there was his aunt of his who was also like beating some kind of health issues but she was fine she was not that sick but he was very very sick but they were staying together in the same house and in the process of manifesting good health what happened is he lost his aunt he lost his aunt 
he was manifesting good health for himself now what does the health of his aunt or he losing his aunt had to do with his health the universe is not seeing whether you are manifesting something for yourself or your aunt or some good health or illness law of attraction is a very very complicated and a dangerous thing which if not done in the right way can actually put human lives in big trouble it was a manifestation done by a flawed mind he just focused on manifesting and doing the technique but the way he is doing it and who is doing it if a flawed mind is doing a process of manifestation he will end up attracting the wrong energies and instead of abundance he will attract bad luck and pain in his life he will think that he is attracting happiness but end he will end up attracting pains in his life because who is doing it he is doing it with a flawed mind and mind is very raw and organic in its energy it will do whatever it wants to do and not what you want the mind to do or think the mind is not in our control till we actually work on it and actually unlock the mind and unleash its potentials make sure that you are not doing any manifesting technique without actually being sure of the strength of your mind of the will power of the mind whether your mind is in a very very healthy state when i say healthy state i don't mean here that medically if your mind is fit or not fit spiritually the mind is fit or not fit here lies the root cause of manifestations going wrong and manifestation going wrong means many many years of your life can go wrong and after that things can obviously fall back to place but you cannot gain what you have already lost you cannot gain those years of your life only you can regret that okay those were mistakes i ended up doing wrong manifestations and attracted the wrong things but then okay my techniques have gone wrong and, and law of attraction doesn't work this that no it is not nothing has gone wrong except for your mind your mind was not spiritually fit to jump on the technique of law of attraction doing that with a flawed mind will obviously give you wrong results instead of positive results and outcome this rebellious raw energy of a child like mind is still within the energies that is ingrained in your subconscious because the energy here is raw the energy in the universe is raw only there is one thing who is not raw and who is corrupt and that is we humans in our approach towards life because we have learned many things that in spiritual practice you have to unlearn if you actually want to manifest the right kind of things do not focus just on the manifestation but focus on the mind that is manifesting it the mind that is working on the manifestation manifestation done with, with a flawed mind will always end up reaping the losses and negative consequences this is for sure you have to first work on your mind before implementing any law of attraction technique or manifestation techniques